Hello, welcome back to Underwater Math. My name is Launch the Astronaut and this is Comet the Space Dog. Today we're going to fly to Comet's space food store to help him learn how to write the value of coins using dollar signs, cent signs, and decimal points. That's right. Hop on and let's go. Okay, the first customer wants to buy a bag of space ice cream. What's the value of the coins that they're paying with, Comet? We need to know so we can write it on their receipt. Let's see. 25, 50, 75, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93. They handed me 93 cents. Great job. Since the amount is less than a dollar or 100 cents, you can write it two ways. The first with a cent sign, like this. Since there are nine tens in 93 cents, we write a nine. Since there are three ones in 93, we write a three, followed by a cent sign. Is the second way with a dollar sign, like this? Almost. You don't need a cent sign when you use a dollar sign to write the value. So, start with a dollar sign. Since there are zero dollars, we write a zero next. Since there's 93 cents, we write that after the decimal point. And that's the second way to write 93 cents. Let me write the next receipt. Okay, the next customer wants to buy a can of dried peaches. Let's see how much they gave me in coins first. 25, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71. The value of the coins is 71 cents. The first way to write 71 cents is with a cent sign like this. And the second way is with a dollar sign and decimal point, like this. Great job, Comet, you're catching on quickly. The best way to get better is to keep practicing. Remember, when you use a dollar sign, you also use a decimal point. When you use a cent sign, you just use a cent sign. Thank you for joining Comet and myself today to review dollar signs, cents, and decimal points. Keep practicing.